want to see him one more time. Seven years ago, she ran away from him. How is it that I'm feeling pity for him right now? I think I should go. You just got here. No, no, this is better. Stay the night at least. I tried finding her, but you know she didn't want to be found. So I think when we finally sell the ranch, it'll still leave enough to cover the new medical bills, depending on how much we get. And how long he lives. You thought more about that old horse? You gotta deal with this sooner or later. Is there something wrong with Mr. T? We're gonna put him down. I'm taking Mr. T back with me. Back where? To New York. You live in New York. I'm not gonna let you kill him. What are you planning on keeping an old horse in the Big Apple? What, you think I'm being stupid? Of course not. I've done way stupider things for animals than drag a horse from Montana to New York. It's insane. I think she doesn't know how to make the pain go away, but maybe this she can do. I saw what happened that night, what he did to her. And I just froze. I knew what I should do, that I could stand up to him, that I could stop him. But I didn't. So, um, I hear you have gotten a little taste of our family history from my brother. Pretty rough, huh? There it is, in the belly of the beast, that our dad helped shield from government oversight. Oh, my Lord, come carry me home. Oh, my Lord, come carry me home. Every night I wake up and I think that that can't be what happened. But that is what happened. And that's how it's always gonna be. I missed you so much. We you got me now? Your father is a man who's past his complete now. Nothing more will be added to his story. Begging, please. But yours is still unfolding. Won't you release me? <laughs>